Hey everyone, I'm here to talk about the new expert rumor method to hunt the Ketson pet from the Hunter Guild rumors. So some background information on rumors is players have figured out uh, ways to implement a sort of block list and also this uh, Kevit method to skip bad Kevit tasks called the uh, counterfeit Kevit method as this other YouTuber Double Shine has called it. Uh, I would recommend watching uh, some of his videos on the new Varlamore content to learn about how the block list system works generally. And then also his video talking about the counterfeit Kebit for uh, method. That, that one explains pretty well what's going on here. But getting into the method, uh, generally players uh, were just doing master contracts. And they would set up a block list that would look something like blocking pyre foxes, blocking red salamanders... Um, some players have done this differently. They'd block like sunlight antelopes and also TQ salamanders. And so you'd end up doing red shins, sunlight moths, dashing kevits, moonlight moths, herbivore, and moonlight antelope. And so now to deal with this, so you have six possible tasks here that you can do. And a lot of them are bad. The, uh, the fastest one is dashing kevits by far. And everything else can be very slow. Um... So now, up until today, we didn't know the drop rates, but now we do. And surprisingly, uh, they're saying that both experts uh, and masters are one in a thousand for the pet. And so now that's really interesting, because you can set up a totally different block list based on experts. So now, if I unhighlight these, uh, if we sort by expert here, so it's only expert at the top, uh, you still want to do some blocks, but notice how many kebits there are. Dashing kebit, Razorback kebit, Sabertooth kebit, Dark kebit. And those are really good tasks. So the whole idea of target farming experts for the pet is to maximize the percentage of your tasks that are kebit tasks. So we would have Pyre Foxes blocked. And now some of this is uh, up to you. Like, for example, if you're missing the chin pet, uh, you might want to do chins. But I would recommend blocking chins because I think they're way slower than salamanders. Um, we're going to block the gray chins too because those are really bad. And now uh, we can block one more thing on this list, so you kind of have to choose. Are you going to block sunlight antelopes or saber tooth kayats? I would highly recommend blocking saber tooth, -tooth kayats if you're going to do one or the other. I think sunlight antelopes are faster. And so now look what we're left with uh, we're left with red and orange salamanders, sunlight antelopes. And then four kebits. So there's seven total tasks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And so four out of the seven tasks are very fast. So uh, let's do a little math on this. Uh, with the old method, uh, there were six possible tasks, and only one of them were really well, was really good, uh, the kebits. So, so, so let's just say a kebit task takes a minute and a half, and all the bad tasks, let's say they take four and a half minutes on average. Just kind of throwing out a number. It's something like that. So if we do this weighted average here, uh, well here we actually get exactly four. So uh, this is telling us that it's about four minutes on average. And kind of eyeballing the numbers, that makes sense. If it's four and a half minutes for a bad task, but and that's like most of the tasks, but not quite all. Uh, this one sixth of the time it's weighed down a little bit. So yeah, four. Four minutes per task on average. Now let's see what's going on with experts. So four out of seven tasks are kebits. So if they're a minute and a half each, and we weigh that with a four and a half quote, bad task, uh, three, uh, three sevenths of the time, uh, then that average here, it appears to be 2.78. So look at that difference. So we're, we're going from four minutes per task on average to 2.78. Now, obviously you could fiddle with these numbers. Maybe the, the good tasks aren't quite that, or the bad tasks maybe aren't that bad, or maybe they're even worse. Uh, but the idea is that it's, uh, it's a pretty big difference. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the basic idea of this method. Also, just to clarify what's going on with the block list for the way I'm doing this, I have one of the Adept Masters on Pyrefox. The other one is holding the Spotted Kebit task. You want that so you can receive all four possible Kebit tasks on the Expert. And then, to, to going along with the Counterfeit Kebit method, every time you get a Kebit task, you go back to the Adept and ask for that Spotted Kebit task back. So that's what's going on with the two Adepts. There's the Spotted Kebit and the Pyrefox. Then I personally have Red Shins blocked on the mas Master tier. And then uh, gray chins I have on the other expert. 
uh, one expert we're using for a block and one expert we're using to do the method. And then I have the Sabertooth Kayats blocked on the novice. You might set yours up slightly differently, but something generally like this. And then again, if you want to farm the red chin pet, you'd probably want to leave that one unblocked and then perhaps block something else. Let's talk about the gear setup. For the gear, you'll want Max Cape, Ring of Endurance, and the Guild Hunter set. And for the inventory, you'll want the Huntsman kit. Uh, with the rope and net for the salamanders and the teasing stick for the pitfall traps. Specifically, that'll end up being used for sunlight antelope, which I would recommend over Sabertooth Kayat for this setup. And rune pouch with Orania teleport runes, or you could do tabs. Splinter stack for the sunlight antelopes, because you'll get it anyways. Piss scrolls for the falconry telly. Alternative is AKQ. Knife for the pitfall trap. Pharaoh scepter to get to orange salamanders and then the whistle if you want to check your rumor which is nice to be sure of pouch stack candor and headgear for double logs while you're doing the pitfall trap and the axe to cut the trees and the stamina because we'll be running a lot doing contracts very quickly some other nice to haves is outlining the two different masters you'll be using and also using entity hider uh, for the masters you will not be using so you don't accidentally mess up your contracts or accidentally reset at the novice or anything like that. So you'll be going to the expert here, guy at the door, and then if you get Kevitz, you'll be going to the adept one. And then if it's a, a bad task, you'll be disabling back-to-back. -back, or if it's Kevitz, you'll be re-enabling back-to-back at uh, the guild scribe guy here behind the desk. And then on the right side of my client here, you'll see better NPC highlight. If you want to do the hiding, you can put it in here under the Entity Hider section. And so you can just have these two guys. And one last thing I'd mention is that I would recommend making the Expert Master you're going to use, uh, normally it's left-click talk. Uh, I would m recommend making it, well, you shift, right-click them, and then left-click uh, rumor. And then for the Adept one, just be careful. We don't interact with this guy when we don't and specifically want to. Uh, I no, uh, Normally it's you know, talk to. I would recommend making him left click walk here. So you can't accidentally talk to him if you don't really want to. So one tip for the pitfall traps here is you can you know you can tease one, get it on you, build a trap, and then wait until after it hits you, wait a couple ticks, then go across. So you don't have the combat delay. And then you, you can actually tease another one and then pre jump across while the option is still available, and then you loot it. And at this point, you can go do something else. You could, like, chop some more trees while that animation is taking place. And so that's a way to get a little bit more efficiency out of your logs and also kind of pipeline two operations at the same time. I just finished up a contract here. Let's get an example. So we got dark kebits. So let's replace that with spotted kebits. But, and also, let's double check our settings here. Uh, so we want to enable back-to-back -back rumors. And then let's go to the falconry area. I'll stam at this point, get a little on run. We got left click, take Falcon there. We got it. And then you'll want to go between these two spawns or you gotta find the right ones. Probably could have these things tagged better. So then you can like pre-move between these two spots. Looks like we got it, so let's go back. And so go back to the expert guy and ask for his task back and then this Kebity Tuft will work. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got Razorback Kebit, so we go back to Adept. It's still on back to back, so that's fine. And then we Telly. So we're gonna be chaining here, so we can just do this for a while. two spawns going again here. There we go. So 
So if you need to drop, you can like drop in between like, uh, you can like loot. Let's get a better example. It's really annoying when they move. Okay, we might be in the cycle here. So loot, move, drop, and then click it. You have just enough time to do it. If it moves, it's you lose some ticks. <laughs> Talk to the expert, not the adept. Razorback Hebbit, back to the adept. I teleported kind of quick there. Let's double check the task. Yeah, spotted Kebbit. Good. You got left click dropping everything with my spammy inventory tags. <laughs> Razorback Kebbit, back to Adept. We're getting lucky here. Back we go. This is the real benefit of the method when you can just chain it like this. It's a uh, 4 out of 7 chance to get a Kebbit task. When you have the block list set up. Orange Salamander, so we'll teleport to Tins of Basket with the Scepter, and we go northwest. And then for this one, let's take out our net and rope here. There's a little trick you can do here. If you want to save a little bit of time, you can take advantage of arrive delay. So if you're here, you know, you can loot it, but then if you go to set it up, your character walks and then there's a delay and then you set it up. But the alternative is you could pre-step on top of the tile and then loot and then set it up and it saves like a tick or so. It's pretty nice. So this is, this is what I, I like to do here, just like that. And this is actually not such a bad task, because the catch rate is, is, is pretty fast. And I believe the new blog said that these are 1 in 25. So, it's not that bad of a task. Alright, just got the orange salamander piece here. And so this is the part where you're going to want to disable back-to-back -back rumors. And uh, just to slightly improve your odds so you can't get this bad task again. 
Uh, so before turning it in and asking, uh, you could have done this before you left. I'll disable back-to-back -back rumors and then turn it turn it in here. So I got Kebets back to Adept, and then we're going to turn it on again because this is a good task. And back we go. Anyways, that's all. Good luck farming the pet, and I hope they don't nerf this cool method. Good luck, everybody.